<laughs> and we're live. And we're live. And we're live. Can everybody see us? Let us know if you can see us. Um, welcome to this Horn Hangout. It's a very special Horn Hangout. Um, I'm actually pretending at the moment here in Berlin that I'm in, in LA. I put a few palms behind me um, because today is all about the International Horn Society meeting this summer in LA. And we have the most amazing panel to talk to us all about it. You can ask us all sorts of stuff, but it, we're supposed to be basing it around um, the IHS meeting, and we will. But you know, you can ask Andrew anything you ever wanted to ask him, or Jeff, or you know, we'll, we'll get to those questions. Um, I would love to introduce you to these wonderful people sitting on Google Plus, looking very, very um, anxious about what's about to happen. Uh, we'll go first of all to LA. Say hi, Annie and Andrew. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, you guys. Annie Bosler, Andrew Bain, you two are the hosts of the 47th International Horn Society, right? Yes. Absolutely. Is it a huge amount of work? <laughs> it's a huge amount of work for Annie. <laughs> Annie's been working around the clock for the last year and a half to put this together. It's amazing. Good. Well, we're going to come straight back to that and talk to you guys. You're sitting in, in on the 11th floor of the Coburn Institute with the most amazing view. Annie, move a little bit. Show us what's right behind you. <laughs> this is Walt Disney Concert Hall, where, where Andrew spends most of his time. <laughs> he lives there, actually. Amazing <laughs> place. So uh, through the wonders of the internet, um, from Berlin to LA, and now we're going to Indiana, where there's the equally as awesome Jeff Nelson waiting from us. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Hey. Beardy. Oh, beards this time. Andrew as well. Just Annie and I are clean shaven. Um, <laughs> Jeff, welcome. Where are you? In Bloomington, Indiana, right in the middle of the Midwest of America. That is your horn studio, right? Yes, yeah, in my studio. Down the hall from Dale Clevenger and just underneath Rick Serafinoff. And Across the street from Myron Bloom, you know, <laughs> busy that's town. Quite an, that's quite an illustrious uh, hallway. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just, just for you guys that, that don't know this, uh, Jeff is not only fearless and an amazing horn player, he's also the president of the International Horn Society, and from now on we're going to refer to him as Mr. President, okay? Very <laughs> much. Please treat me, treat me like a normal person. Um, I am having a little bit of trouble hearing you. I don't know. Are you guys having trouble hearing him? Let us know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my, my strange Mac. But, uh, but you look great anyway. We're coming right back to you. <laughs> now from Bloomington, Indiana to Melbourne, Australia, where um, all of you know and love Tim Kelly as much as I do. Tim, good morning. Good morning. I'm awake. We're here. What time is it? It's just gone 6 a.m. So I've been oh. up for a couple of hours. Right and early. But, but this is what you do for the horn world, you know, you, you, you are not a horn player yourself, you're a tuba player, but uh, without you none of, and none of this would all happen. Yeah, and it's very special to be involved in a hangout with so many fantastic people, so well worth getting up in the morning. Did you practice that? That was a very no. nice speech. <laughs> Anyway, thanks a lot for all you've been doing. You've put together some surprises for us as well a bit later, and you've got your cool brass band cap on. Thank you. Do you like it? I just, I just got to tell you guys, Tim runs um, uh, a site called Brass Band where he live streams uh, all the big brass band events. And you just had a huge win on, one in Australia with the most amazing viewer numbers. Yeah, so we just covered the Australian National Band Championships here. We had 18,000 people who joined us live on the feed to watch that. So there's a really huge community of people out there who like watching brass music live on the internet. And hopefully many of them will be joining us as well in LA. Do you think we're going to be able to get 18,000 live viewers? Probably more. I'd say a fair few more. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> We've got to work on that. Tell all your friends. Um, very, very good news is that Tim is going to be in LA in person. So we are going to be running around and filming all sorts of stuff. But we'll get back to that. Annie and Andrew, your turn. Start telling us, Annie, you want to start? Tell us, tell us the plan today. You launched um, the schedule, I think. Today we actually launched the, uh, the most up-to-date schedule we have at the moment, which is really exciting. Um, it goes through all of the big night events. So if you go to our website, which is ihsla2015.com, 
and then you can click somebody, on Can somebody schedule. write that in the chat for us? Can somebody put that in the chat for us so that everybody knows where to click? Thank you. Sorry, then, carry on. <laughs> that's okay. If you click on uh, the schedule link, it breaks it down by day. And so what we have are all the big featured events. Which are? Um, so Andrew, do you want to start by telling us about the... Well, the, the, theme, the theme of the of the symposium this year is then and now, and Annie and I came up with that brilliant title, I can't remember when, but we came <laughs> up with it, and um, it's basically what we wanted to do is to celebrate the history of, of the horn in lots of different genres, but specific to Los Angeles. There's obviously an amazing um, Hollywood film industry here, and there's an incredible history of the horn um, through decades in Los Angeles, as well as orchestral playing. So we wanted to celebrate the horn in Hollywood, the horn in orchestral music and in chamber music, and from, from the golden age of Hollywood right through to today. Um, so we've tried to capture that throughout the week, and Annie will explain some of the big events. So starting on Sunday night, August the 2nd, we start the night out with the Gordon Goodwin Big Fat Band, and they just won a, a Grammy Award this year, and they're going to be um, a company, well, they're accompanying the featured artist uh, Richard Todd and Arcady, and they're going to be doing a bunch of jazz um, uh, options with the, the big band. And then on Monday night, we're going to have a big artist recital of all the featured artists. Um, I'm going to let Andrew tell you about Tuesday and Thursday night, but I'm going to jump to Wednesday night, and we're going to have a, an event where we actually honor the, the history of Hollywood, the horn in Hollywood. Um, and then on Friday night, um, we're going to have the American Horn Quartet, and they're going to do. Uh, we're doing a big celebration event for them. Um, this is actually their last, their farewell concert, um, and so so we're going to do a big event honoring them. And then Saturday night, we're going to end the whole symposium with a, a bunch of world premieres for horn, some horn ensembles and some horn soloists with wind ensemble. Um, and so that that's going to be our, our big closing concert. But Andrew's going to tell you now about the two events at the Hollywood Bowl with the LA Phil. Yeah, the, the Tuesday night, actually, we put Sarah to some work on Tuesday night. Yeah. Well, I had to do something to earn my plane ticket over there. I can't <laughs> just run around with Tim and live stream off all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun, actually. We, the Tuesday night concert is at the Hollywood Bowl with the Los Angeles Philharmonic, and Sarah and me and Tim Jones and Stefan Dorr are going to play the Schumann Concert Stuhl. Uh, Terrifying. The Sorry? Terrifying. Piece of cake for you. Easy. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to play all the high notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that'll be fun. And the second half of that program is a really horn specific uh, piece of repertoire. We're playing the uh, Rosen Cavalier Suite and Till Ollenspiegel in the second half of the concert. And there's going to be a big feature at the beginning of the concert with the Star Spangled Banner, will be a very special horn related. Um, version of the Star Spangled Banner. At every concert that the LF Phil plays in the Hollywood Bowl, we play the Star Spangled Banner, the American National Anthem. Do we get to play? Do we get to, we get, ba 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 you can, you can put, it, put it into Schumann. We can weave that into the Star Spangled Banner, then I'm sure that would be fine. <laughs> so, yeah. so that will be, going to be a huge event, and uh, and the LA Phil has been good enough and, and incredibly generous with, uh, with basically making that a, a concert just about the horn. Uh, Thursday night is also another horn-related program. We're playing uh, Beethoven's Fifth Piano Concerto, and the second half of that concert is Shostakovich Five. So, Andrew, you've got quite an easy week, chop-wise. I've got pretty much nothing to do that week, so it'll be fine. But I heard a rumor that Stefan Dor is going to be bumping you for the second half of the concert after the Schumann. <laughs> he, can, he can play the whole concert if he wants. That's no problem. Speaking of Stefan Dor, Tim... Are you ready to go with this one? I think we'll do this one now. We have a, if Stefan isn't here, he might be watching. I don't know. Stefan, are you watching? Um, we have a little greeting for you guys from Stefan. Ready? Tim, you ready to go on this one? I think um, for the E, you will have to wait for the IHS meeting in Los Angeles. Please come and join. 
Yay! <laughs> I love that. These are so great. But they weren't farts. They were actually microphone distortions. Just one, if, if, you, if you were wondering, those little noises that you were <laughs> showing this. Thank you, Stefan, if you're watching. Thank you for that. I'm looking forward to his top E's. You guys have gone silent. Oh, um, the the um, the amazing thing about the concerts that we're that we're putting on, and, and particularly the the big events, is that we're bringing people from all around the world, and and uh, of the of really of the highest level, and it's it's going to be an exciting week on every day. Every day seems to have a huge event that's going to be really exciting. If if those of you out there are wanting to really dress up and have a really fantastic, you know, event. The Wednesday night concert is the one to do that. We're actually going to have a red carpet out the front of the theatre. It's going to be one of the huge uh, old LA picture theatres that we're, that we're hiring. It seats about 2,000 people and it looks absolutely incredible. And we want that to be a, a black tie, sort of a formal event. And the cool thing about LA is that we go from super formal, like Oscars level, <laughs> down to beachwear and everyone will fit in and feel very comfortable. So if you want to bring your tux, if you want to bring your ball gown, Bring that if you want to bring your swimmers, and with that to the concert, you can do that too. But that's going to be the Wednesday night, uh, the, the Hollywood themed concert, which will be fantastic. That sounds amazing. Annie, can you help me get a dress? I'll be coming from Australia and it's winter there, so you have to help me find a dress. Um, that, uh, Andrew, it, I mean, you guys, it sounds amazing what you've been planning, really. I had a quick look through the schedule, and anyone that wants to see what's going on, it's all, uh, but all the individual stuff isn't up there yet the master classes and the, and the, and the things. Can I just bring in Mr. President? At this point, Mr. President in Indiana. Right, yes. And yeah. we were having a little bit of problems listening to you, so you have to enunciate very clearly. All right, my mother has been telling me that for years. <clears throat> Tell us, um, how much have you been involved as the president of the IHS? How much have because you, you'll be doing your own stuff. You'll be doing your fearless presentations, I hope. Yes. Yeah, I might. I'll do one or two of those, depending on similar to last year and which, which Tim will live stream so I heard right Tim All that's right. definitely the plan looking forward to streaming out some of the magic that's going to happen oh, oh the magic I had a request to do some magic would you like to see some magic Sarah we want to see some magic okay ready so this was the first magic trick I ever got and I was eight years old, and it was at Disneyland in L.A. So that's something else that you can go to when you're there, is the magic store at Disneyland, or just go on all the rides. And this was the first trick, so I'm going to do it for you now. Andrew, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, can you just see there's six colors on this. It's called the Rainbow Rod, okay? Six colors, can you pick... Just pick a number between one and six. Do I have to tell you? The ending's better if you tell me, yes. Okay, uh, five. Five, okay. Count, uh, spell with me now, F-I-V-E. What color is that one? Blue. Blue, okay, and we didn't decide that you would pick this earlier, did we? This is fair, uh, fair uh, magic. Uh, oh. That's very clever. You guys practiced that before. No, there was there was no collusion at all. <laughs> well, that's something else that I'm excited about. Is I'm a, a magician member at this Magic Castle Club in LA, and I'd love to be taking people there as well. We, Annie and I are discussing how to have people see more magic in LA as well. But we're there for Horn. Um, it's been exciting to talk about the different events and being able to plan things. One of the things coming up uh, also are all the competitions. So maybe I can talk about that for a second and just remind everybody that go to the IHSLA2015 dot com, the website, and then uh, backslash competitions, and you can hear about all these competitions, and they're really great. There's a bunch happening. It's great to set goals for yourself and have something to work toward in the summer, um, but also good for the resume and good to mention it. The John Hawkins Award can help you with up to $1,500 to help you get to L.A. and register and eat and sleep in 
indoors somewhere and you get a lesson with a symposium artist and a 10 minute slot to perform on one of the concerts there uh, and a copy of the Werner Pelican's Concerto and a one year membership. I think I said that name wrong. Uh, and there's the IHS solo competition. Uh, you submit recordings for, and then uh, you get through that round and then play one of the five finalists at the live event in at IHS, and the Frizzell excerpt competition for both high and low divisions. Well, these are all going on. Uh, and the Mansour Awards, where you submit an application and an essay. This one's by May 15th. So, But check it all out at the website, please, and it's really great to be active and be going toward these goals. Can someone can someone put the website in again because someone's just asked where can they get the uh, where can they get the information from and I think they probably joined us a little bit late so maybe you can put the uh, the link in again. There's a lot of stuff going on on the on the chat and I'm really happy to see there's so many people and there's some real I mean some friends we know everybody say hi to Ken Pope. Hello <laughs> Ken. Hi, hi Ken. Ken. <laughs> and can everybody say happy birthday to Alexis? It's his birthday. Hi Alexa, happy birthday. And we've got, we've got people watching. Dando is watching in Bosnia Herzegovina. We have um, Luis. Hi, Luis, watching from Valencia. We have a non, a trumpet player watching from France. Very nice of you to join us. Come to LA. It's we're gonna have fun. Um, we have, uh, yeah, we've just got a lot of people. Alabama, New Jersey, a lot of Americans out there. It's a good time of the day for America. Let us know where you're watching from. We we love that. Hey, hey, Ken. <laughs> Ken's just posting. I thought you heard that. Thank you. Ten, we adore you. We're looking forward to your exhibition. What's happening with the exhibitions, Annie? We've got right now. We've got over 36 uh, exhibitors registered, and um, they start on August the third, the Monday, and they run through the Friday. And so we're really excited to have all these folks here. And um, they're all going to be in in one location, kind of over a couple of the floors, but it's all in one building. So that's the good news: is that you don't have to travel across the world to get to, you know to different buildings on our campus. Well, that's good. That's, so it's all together in the. So, and what about the cafeteria? Is it any good? <laughs> it's great, actually. It is really fantastic. <laughs> the best food in Los Angeles. <laughs> the best. Um, where's everyone going to stay? Am I staying with you, Andrew? <laughs> yeah, we've got we've got uh, plenty of room for you at our place. That's fine. Yay. We've done the right, so it'll be easy. <laughs> uh, Jeff, where where are we staying though? Where where's everyone being put up? So right now uh, we have a couple hotels in the area. They're all listed on the site. We actually just added a new one last night, um, the LA Hotel. So if anyone wants to visit IHSLA2015.com, uh, the link is there under sleeping is is the um, the link to the to all the hotels. Uh, sadly, we've, the Colburn School housing has sold out, but we are actually looking at another um, boarding school that's really close to Colburn, um, like three tenths of a mile from Colburn. And we're looking to pair up with them and hopefully have some more options in, in that, um, uh, you know, ballpark. Oh, Annie, I, I, I've seen a vision, a vision in red. Look who's joined us. Oh, hey, Dale. <laughs> Hi, Dale. Hi, doing? Dale. Hey, Sarah. It's great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Hey, what are you doing today? Are you teaching? Just teaching. I'm giving Jeff a hard time. It's, there's a microphone right there. You don't have to yell. Oh, Amen. sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, are you going to be there in the summer? Uh, uh, at the workshop? If I'm healthy and if they pay my way, I'll be there. <laughs> Dale and Andrew actually recorded a fantastic video, which we'd like to show our viewers. Um, uh, Tim, the sing the one on its own. Tim, you uh, Dale, you remember Tim, don't you, from our hangout? Hi, Dale. So we'll just play this video. Oh yeah. Hi. Yes. And this is Dale Clevenger. And we are in Los Angeles, and. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, I can't get closer. I'm gonna get in the mirror. Inviting people. All right. Sorry, guys. Just a little boy, but I love that so much. I just had to include include that. It was fantastic. Thanks, <laughs> Tim. You're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Dale. 
Dale, yeah. can you hear me? Tell me why you think. What 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 are the best? What do you look forward to the most at these these, these big horn conventions? Well, you get to see a lot of old friends. A lot you of get, what? Old friends. Ah, old friends. Who uh, some of whom you played with, and some of and I get to meet a lot of new ones, a lot of people that I have never met that I get to meet. Uh, and that's, to me, it's always very exciting, very enjoyable. Uh, I get to hear some people play that I have never heard in person. And, you know, there's a lot of chit-chat about the horn for uh, a pretty solid two weeks. Uh, the ones that I went to in the past I were, were amazing. You, you'd be interested in knowing who was at the first one I went to. It was 1971. And Myron Bloom was there, and uh, uh, Freudus Becker, and uh, let's see, um, Hermann Baumann, and... Uh, I wonder if Hermann coming this year, Annie? Is Hermann coming? Not... One of, the, one of the horn players from Vienna, uh, uh, I played in the Vienna, in the uh, folks over, and... Uh, you know, it, that was just the start of all this thing, and and now I know that that Annie and uh, uh, Andrew are are planning uh, what will be a fantastic workshop. It's it, it's inevitable. No matter how many people come, and there ought to be a thousand horn players. You know, help you pay the bills at least. But. Uh, at least. We need everybody out there. Come on, look at all these awesome people are on this hangout, and all the people ch chatting on the on the web chat. There's going to be. It's just got to be the best the best one ever, I think. And Dale, will you promise me that you will take me out for coffee, even if you're totally inundated? Well, uh, I have to ask my wife that. <laughs> is she watching? <laughs> that, is she watching, Giovanna? Is she watching? I don't know if she is or not. She said she was going to try. And, uh, uh, I expect she is, if possible, but uh, he and I would be happy to take you out to coffee. <laughs> Dale, you have become incredibly, incredibly uh, proper. I'm impressed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what to do and what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving swiftly along. <laughs> Who are these nice people in the background that we are seeing? Hi, guys. There are three students, uh, two of Jeff's and one of uh, Sarafinos. I can only see two. Oh, ah. Uh, yeah. ah, hello. Hi. Are you guys coming to the horn uh, the horn meeting in LA? Yes. We'll work on them. They are now. Seen... You know, we have uh, uh, we have forty five horn students here, and they're all. Very busy in addition to having lessons with us, but uh, we're going to tighten the screws on them anyway, and they're going to get more busy with the uh, with with the horn and with music, of course. Well, bring bring as many of, bring as many of them as you can. Annie, could you tell us are there any sort of scholarships that people can apply for? The the biggest scholarships are the ones that Jeff mentioned, which are the IHS competitions. So um, we'd recommend just going online and and you know, uh, applying for those. And, and Jeff said there's a few that actually include, you know, some uh, money to come here and also uh, registration fees. Okay. That's, that's, that's good to know for everybody out there. Um, and by the way, Gail Williams is watching. Yay! Hey, Gail. She sends a love to everyone. That's really nice. That's, uh, we've, got, we've got a really nice, but in between students. Well, good. Glad she could join us. Sarah, where are you, are you coming, Gail? Are you going to come? Who's that? I'm asking. I was just seeing if Gail was going to come this year. She'd be, she'd better anyway. Everybody has to come. There's just no no excuse. <laughs> that's the plan. Gail Gail will be here. That's for sure. Is, are you guys, is there a um, a limit on how many people can apply? You mean to attend the symposium? Yeah. Oh no, not not. No, we haven't decided to set a cap yet. <laughs> so so we'd love for everyone to come. Pardon? Is that the police? Yeah, we've been kicked out. No. <laughs> we um we have we have another little video.
feel which page you guys put up the the word to get um, to get some some of your featured artists to uh, say hi and um, we've seen Stefan we've seen uh, Andrew and Dale's awesome awesome uh, appearance Tim what do you think should we uh, should we show the others okay well, so we've shown the bloopers a little bit they were lovely um, here's something that's a little more proper. Hi, I'm Andrew Bain. And I'm Dale Clevenger. And we are in Los Angeles, and we think that you really should come to the IHS 2015. Why, Dale? Because the IHS is almost 50 years old, and this is going to be the second time in Los Angeles, and it will be big. We suggest that you try really hard to come. We demand it. Oh. So we will go to Los Angeles IHS Symposium. Yeah! yeah. Well, obviously, we can't figure out what to wear. Are there formal stuff or, uh, let's see, what, is that country summer? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the memo. <laughs> Oh. Hi, I'm Velvet Barbie. And I'm Matilda the Horn. And we will see, see you at, at IHS 2015. Wow. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Carrie. And we're from the American Horn Quartet. Greetings from beautiful Luxembourg. We are really looking forward to the IHS Symposium in Los Angeles. That's where we're going to be playing our final concert. It's going to be a very important and a very nostalgic event. Hello, this is Jeffrey Winter from the American Horn Quartet, and I just want you to all know how I'm looking forward to seeing you in August in Los Angeles at the IHS convention. Hi, this is Charlie Putnam from the American Horn Quartet. We hope to see all of you this summer at the IHS Horn Workshop in Los Angeles in August. Hi, I'm Dr. Don Green with the Coburn School. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the International Horn Society Symposium this summer in L.A. See you then. Hi, folks. I'm Brian O'Connor, and we're looking forward to seeing all of you in Los Angeles this summer for the IHS Symposium. Well, I'm just off of finishing recording Jurassic World, and now I'm doing R&R in the West with my beautiful bride. And I uh, can't wait to come to IHS Los Angeles this summer. No matter where you are, make sure you show up. I've got it. Come to LA. <gasps> Because there will be Tim, thank you so much for putting that together at very, very short notice and at 5 o'clock in the morning. No worries. It was almost my best work, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, needless to say, that is Rhys uh, Nelson in the last video, who's, I think, the most famous kid in the horn world. Jeff, what do you say to that? I, I think so, yeah. He's, he's got an open hand position. That's all we're working on right now. Yep. Which, which of the horn parts was he playing there in the, in the overture? Uh, a little bit of one, a little bit of three. We're mixing it up as well for that to keep them one and four, actually, so there's no special. And tell us who the other two were, the other two horn players, because I recognize them. Eric Reed, former Canadian brass president. Now he's with the American Brass Quintet yeah. and teaching at Juilliard and in, or, around New York. And Mike Walker, who is now at the University of New Mexico, teaching there. Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much for doing that. And Dale, thank you for your, for your video with Andrew. And thanks for joining us, for coming and saying hi. It's a total inspiration for people to get their tickets booked to come over even just to see you in person. Say hi to all your colleagues, okay? I will. I will. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much. See you in L.A. No. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks. <laughs> um, Annie? So, uh, Jonathan in Alabama is asking, uh, he wasn't paying attention, was that Jim Thatcher saying he just recorded Jurassic World? 
That was a uh, Richard Todd. That was Richard Todd, wasn't it? I was, and um, and Jean Luc wants to know where the French horn players are. André Cazalet, Antoine Dreyfus, Benoît de Bassoni. Have any French horn players coming? Um, I think we actually do, but they've been they're they've registered, so I'd have to look back through the files to see. So yeah. it works good for them. <laughs> we need every country represented there. I think. Absolutely. I saw um t t what Tim what are you, Annie you and Tim have been planning um, some stuff Tim have you decided what you want to live stream what do you think of the future of live streaming at the IHS I'm very excited about whatever we get to live stream I don't think it's nailed down exactly what we'll be doing yet um, but I'm hoping to get in to do some of the warm up classes in the morning so that even if people around the world can't make it to be there in person they can still join in some of the warm ups wherever they're watching from on the live stream that's a great idea. I, I'm not such a huge fan of mass warm-ups, but I know some people are. I prefer to sort of hide away and uh, do them by myself. But I'm sure. Far, and if you're streaming it, then I'll join in online. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Maybe we can post the music of what whoever's doing the warm-up so that people can uh, can. Yeah, we'll see. We'll we'll work out on that. Annie, what do you think of that? I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, we have a few other surprises too that Tim and I have talked about. Some of them involve you, Sarah. So I hope you're ready. <laughs> Would it have anything? <laughs> with a flash mob? Possibly. <laughs> ah. Okay guys, well we're not going to tell you much more about that now, but I promise that anyone who has a horn and is in the LA vicinity, is it on the Wednesday? No, it's on the Thursday, I think. On the Thursday. Anyone who's in the LA vicinity and has a horn is welcome to come along. Not welcome, they, they, are, they, are, they have to come along. It's, what did you say, Andrew? Uh, you are required to do so. What was your quote? Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> too much going on. We 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 need you there. So on Thursday, which is the sixth, it's, uh, yeah, August the sixth. August the sixth. So there's going to be something very fun going on there. And there's a video of the 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 crazy thing we did in Hyde Park last year. There's a video up on YouTube of that. So it'll be similar along that lines, but much more Hollywoody. <laughs> So Tim will be Tim will be live streaming that because Tim actually has this really cool thing that he can put on his Tim, tell us about your backpack. I love that backpack. I've got all sorts of cool toys, Sarah. Um, but we'll be bringing some of the good ones there. So hopefully we can go out and about and do some live streams even if not inside. So maybe something a little bit spontaneous might be able to happen. Ah, that's good. So a spontaneous live stream, but of course we don't want to uh, we don't want to um, deter people from turning up live because the live experience is you can never beat it. But of, of course there are going to be people who can't be there. And Jeff, how you guys decided to to let us do this? I know it was a lot of discussion um, because you know people were worried if we live stream some of it, then they wouldn't feel that they had to come. Uh, you want to give us a quick insider? Uh, Talk about yeah. that. You guys weren't convinced that live streaming was the way to go. Right. Well, we're, we're trying to balance everything so that we get into the 21st century and be able to build the audience so more people can get access to it, lower, lower the barrier of access to what International Horn Society is doing. So that's why we want to stream some things. We're still figuring out copyright and other the complicated the, the barriers that have kept us from doing it in, in the past, but we're, we're putting in... <laughs> Countless hours to figure it all out, so we can give you guys the value, you know, that you deserve with the membership. Well, I think it's fantastic, and I also think it's fantastic that you've got the man, because actually Tim was the one that started all this in the horn world, um, because he live streamed my very first masterclass. You remember Andrew from from Melbourne? You were there too. We played, and and Tim just said came afterwards, and he said. Uh, so what do you think you want to do, you know, with all this? And I said, well, I'd like to live stream in interviews and hangouts. And she said, no problem, we'll set it up. So actually, all of this, <laughs> all of this is if I had a cap, I would tip it to you, dear Tim. I was just in the right place at the right time, I think. But it's been lots of fun. And what's it like as a tuba player surrounded by all these horn players? I mean, it's you know, you. <laughs> well, as a very, very amateur tuba player, it's a little bit daunting sometimes. But everyone's really nice, so it's good fun. Kevin McDonald says he'll be there in August. Good one, Kevin. We're happy to have you there with us in August. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, Dale is waving at me. No. <laughs> oh, I think I think is he is he leaving the room? Has he been told not to speak, Jeff? Uh -oh. Bye, Dale. Bye. See you in August. 
Sarah, Sarah, I was just going to say one of one of the fantastic things about being being at the IHS live in Los Angeles is is the different venues that you're going to be able to experience. We we I mean the Hollywood Bowl in itself is a seventeen and a half thousand seat venue that is really one of the most amazing amphitheaters in the world, and we've coupled that with the Amer the American Horn Quartet final concert is in the the Cathedral of the Lady of the Angels of Our yeah. Angels Cathedral, and that that cathedral seats five thousand people, and it has three million cubic square feet of space. It's an it's an incredible uh, venue, and then we've got we've got the Los Angeles Theatre, which is an in just an amazing old Hollywood style theatre. We're using parts of the Walt Disney Concert Hall to to play concerts and of course the amazing venues at Coleman. So not only are people going to get to see and hear some amazing playing and players, but they're going to experience some really unique venues that uh, that even even people in Los Angeles haven't had the chance to see. Wow, that's a huge thing. Annie, you've been organizing all this. <laughs> I've been dragging Andrew around and playing in all the venues. So we had to, we had to sound check all of the venues, so I've been carrying my horn around to all these venues playing. To see if oh, we can that live stream. That would have been cool to have that live stream. You'd made some making of photos. We we have we do have some photos. We'll, we'll we'll send them your way. Yeah, no, we want them. Is there anywhere on the IHS site that people can go, or um, is there's a Facebook site, isn't there, where people can go with questions and um and stuff like that? We have a Facebook site. It's it's just all the same title, IHSLA 2015. It's we also have a Twitter site. So. Uh, be replying to all those all those questions or concerns. Okay, so all the all the people who sent in videos, all the players who are watching now, thank you so much for all of that. And I think more of the the, the artists will be in getting involved as as we get closer up, and we will be posting videos, doing crazy things. At least I hope so. That's what horn players are for. We have a, a new Sarah just to mention the we have a new IHS uh, newsletter that goes out every month as well. They can sign up for it on at hornsociety.org. So we'll be. Sending that out every month as well. Any new news about the event, you get that per month, and other great articles and things like that. That's fantastic. I mean, you guys are so organized. I'm incredibly impressed. <laughs> it's going to be a huge event, and fortunately, we've got the we've got the best person in the world to organize it, which is Annie. And so she's coordinated this. It's really interesting, Sarah. We we had we opened up the applications for contributing artists. And we had over 120 contributing artists to the IHS, as well as all of the featured artists. There are people coming from all over the world, the university horn groups, university professors, and a whole bunch of uh, different chamber music groups that are contributing to the event. And Annie's done an incredible job. You ought to see the spreadsheet to actually fit these events in. So basically, every minute of every day is completely full with something amazing, a master class or a lecture or or concerts, and so if you come, you're, you're going to be busy and you're going to have a great time. Andrew, a question's come in from our friend Jill Williams, who's in Bochum in Germany. Hey, Jill. And she wants to know, Andrew, how do you have time to practice your golf swing with all this organizing and horn playing? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Like, the golf has suffered recently. I played, it, I played in Melbourne last week and it was not pretty. Who, did you play Saul? I played with Saul, yeah. He, he, his was less, but. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jeff. Jeff just posted the uh, the link on that. I will put that in the chat straight away. Uh, there we go. Oh no. There we go. Oh, there we go. Something like that. There you go. I've got you the the hornsociety.org. Multitasking. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, tell me, uh, any insider info? Uh, I have found out all the things I wanted to know, apart from where I'm staying, but I think I'll, I'll scruple if I can come stay with you, or should I stay with you and Dylan, Annie? What's... <laughs> we're, we're putting you up in a really nice place there, it's very close to the Colbert School, so you'll, you'll be yeah. excited. But the parties will be at Andrew's house because it's literally just across the street, right? Definitely. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's the, the, I'm preparing the cats. Our two cats are getting very excited to see so many people. <laughs> and tell me a very important thing about the Horn Society. Jeff, when we were in London, we had that wonderful, well, it wasn't wonderful, but it was the Imperial College Bar. Um, 
uh, yeah, that's just where everyone hang out. So what have you guys organized for us to all hang out after hours? There's a Los Angeles has a whole bunch of great places in downtown, so you're going to probably want to go visit several while you're here, but the closest one to the Colburn School is a, a place called Cafe No, but Andrew also, I mean, um, Bar No, but Andrew has several favorites as well. Bar Bar and yeah. Kindles. <laughs> it's a this one particular one because you never know we might even persuade Tim to live stream from there. <laughs> we, we might do one every evening and sort of so it'll be like a Horn Society pub crawl. Yeah, but knowing if the, the camera might, uh, well, Tim, I don't know. What do you think of that idea? It sounds like a very interesting challenge. We'll have to look into that and see what we can do. <laughs> how, how can we involve the the LAers? How can we get the the local community involved? Um, to be honest, they're they're coming they're coming out and there are a lot of people participating throughout the week and we've already had a lot of local players register but we can always have more. So no, um, I don't mean players. I mean I mean the locals. How can we uh, get LA? Because uh, this would be the coolest event going on um, in in LA all week. Forget Hollywood stars. You've well, got the, Andrew Bill and Jeff Nelson and Tim Kelly. You know, come on. Who needs George Clooney? We're, we're actually, all the venues that where we're hosting um, events, they're, uh, most of them are actually open to the public. So, so we're hoping to draw a big crowd in through that. And in downtown Los Angeles, they have a lot of forums, and we're going to be posting all of our events on all the forums. Um, so I have a question from Richard. Ilo Maki, I hope I pronounced that. He wants to know, will James Horner be there with his concerto? Um, not that we know of uh, yet. Um, the I think the U.S. premiere is scheduled for Houston, so so I don't think we're actually allowed to do it yet in Los Angeles. But that would have been a lot of fun. Do you know Jeff? Are you playing it? Uh, no, I am not. You don't know who's playing it? Uh, it's in Houston. I think I I don't want to speak out of turn, but I think it would be the Houston Symphony Layers, as far as I understand it. Sorry, I'm not sure. No, oh, okay. I do, I, I do yeah. not know this, but somebody is bound to ask. Um, yeah, any more questions from you guys online? Because I think we, the people are chatting amongst themselves. We have some trumpet questions. Um, the biggest difference, uh, Trumpet Mike says, the biggest difference between trumpets and horn players, trumpeters would organize the whole event around the bar facilities. Well, we're horn players, and you know, we're so nerdy, we just love to go to those exhibition halls, don't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's being very polite and very quiet. I told I told them not all to not all talk at once because it was difficult for Google Hangouts to. And now no one's saying anything. I would just I'll, I'll say something, Sarah. It's it's um, really helpful. Annie's done an amazing job of setting up the website, and almost any question that you have, the answer to that will be on the website. So if you have a question about accommodation, if you have a question about food, transportation. Uh, things to see in LA, how to how to get to go and see things, uh, highlights of the city. It'll all be on the website. Basically, if you're if you're travelling to LA, even if you're not coming for the IHS, go to the website because it's actually the best travel website I've ever seen. It's amazing, <laughs> it's an incredible. Well, I can't wait, Andrew. We're actually going to be travelling together because the week before, you and and Tim as well, the three of us will be in Sydney. <laughs> Um, you're playing in the Australian World Orchestra, and sure. Tim and I will be doing uh, we're doing a Sarah's music program about it, and doing probably some live, maybe we can do a live hangout from there as well. Mm. So um, we're going to be pretty tired actually once we get there. What's the time difference? Oh, it's only 17 hours, I think. It's not much. 17 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just flew in from Melbourne this morning, so I've, I'm I'm on the same time schedule as Tim, except it's. No, really shine out there and dark over here. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you guys, um, when Andrew and Annie, when we were setting up for this, Andrew has literally just landed, and um, we were setting up the shot, and I said to Annie, and Andrew I said, could you move in a little bit closer, because, um, and Andrew's like, no way, I must smell like a, you really literally just got off the plane? Yeah, I came straight from the airport. <laughs> okay, well, Adam Wolf says hi to all of you, to Jeff, Annie, and Andrew. Hi, Adam. Yeah. Who's Adam? I don't know him. Or do Sarah, I? Sarah, Adam is hosting, oh, he's uh, presenting a, a project called the Rock Horn Project. 
and um, he's been going to different symposiums. Um, I think he was just up at the Northwest one, and he just presented there as well. So he'll be he'll be doing his rock corn project here in Los Angeles. We're excited to see that. Great. Oh, the questions just. It always happens on the Hangouts. The minute we get to 45 minutes and the Hangout is on its way out, then all the questions come flooding in. So, Lyndon Cargo wants to know, Andrew, any thoughts on having his, his, the next one on board my ship? Right. <laughs> okay. well, uh, Lyndon plays on a, on a huge cruise ship, so, uh, you know, if he wants to organize it, we'll be there. Question for Jeff, what are the opportunities from Simeon Gan? what are the opportunities for taking lessons, are there private lessons available or mostly master classes or what will be the, will there be a competition for the master classes, how tight will be the composite competition? There, the website address for the competition's beautiful page that Annie made is in the chat, we can send it again if we'd like, and I mentioned at the beginning, yeah, that there's the John Hawkins award for up to 1500 bucks to get there and uh, then the solo competition, Brazil extra competition, and Manzer awards to apply for all that. And then just talk to anyone. That's a great thing about this this event. This one is going to be huge. People from all over the world. You go up and talk to anybody. That was when I went to my first symposium. I talked to like Charlie Putnam and had and um, and talked. And so I got a lesson. So it's just about hanging out with the horn players. So you there see. are opportunities for taking private lessons when when people are there. And, oh yeah, and then for location as well. Yeah, there's room there, guys. Any? Yeah. Oh, there's definitely. We we've, we've saved some spaces for that and uh, practice rooms as well. And Sarah, I'd like to just mention really quickly that there is a we have a master class participation competition, which is actually just through IHSLA. Um, and it what it is is if if people are interested in being a part of a master class, they actually compete for a spot. It can be any level, amateurs all the way through professionals. Um, and you just upload a video um, to YouTube, and there's a form online. It's, it's called Masterclass Participation Competition, and it's under our competitions page. Um, oh, that's and really good to know. So people can just like apply literally via YouTube, and you'll yep. you'll do. Andrew, you've got time to do that. Go and choose all the co all, all the people. Oh yeah, yeah, I've got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> is there a minimum? Derek from Melbourne wants to know: Is there a minimum age for the competition? Uh, depending on which competition he, they apply for, uh, some of the IHS ones have age requirements. Um, ours do not. So uh, we do for the, there's a horn ensemble and horn quartet competition, and those are uh, based on professional and non-professional. Uh, but the master class competition is any age, any level, um, so it's, it's really exciting. Um, Dando wants to know, will there be, ever be budget or sponsored registration for IHS for the financially challenged? Jeff, is there a something about the IHS? Um, can 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 you are there any reduced uh, memberships? We're working on that, I think, and, and discussing options on that. Okay. And Sarah, right well, there. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Annie. Oh, I was just going to say, Sarah, just so you know as well. Um, some depending on if this person's a student or not, oftentimes the university can give funding. And in addition, we've actually seen some people crowd fund it for themselves to go like, through GoFundMe or something like that. So those are other great options to, to get here. That, that's a very American thing. That's not really, that hasn't really sort of, well, we'll see. Maybe we can persuade the Europeans to do some sort of crowdfunding. Um, it's a great idea. Chris wants to take lessons with all the brilliant Phil. Trying to be Sorry, creative to, to getting help in there. One of my students held a recital and, and just fundraised for himself and he, he raised $5,000. What? what did he play? He must have been. He, yeah, he played the guy's like wrote ten times, and uh, they paid. <laughs> actually, yeah. I would have paid to hear that. <laughs> but so there, there's also um, there's a reduced rate for students. The, the the weekly fee is less for students, and if also if you're a member of the of the International Horn Society, then there's also a reduced rate for that as well. So all of that information, of course, is on the is on the website. Early bird registration opportunity to ask. Okay. Yeah. okay. So basically, all the information went up today. There's still the the detailed information that needs to go up about who's giving masterclass when, but the the basic day plan and the big events in the evening has gone up. Um, with all the information, everything's out there, the travel plans, the, the uh, where to stay, um, and all the featured artists, everything's basically up there. And it's, from today, uh, the, the bare, it's more than the bare bones now, it's, it's, it's all there. 
Yeah, the only thing we ask is that the contributing artists um, just still be patient with us. We're trying. We're going to try to get their schedules out in the next two weeks. Um, so that's the the next uh, big phase, the rollout phase of the schedule. Annie Horn eighty eight wants to know: um, Will there be a screening of the documentary about the Hollywood horn players that Annie made? Is Horn eighty eight Dylan? Uh, can I can I can I talk about this? Because Annie's too Annie's too modest to mention. She she has made this incredible documentary film on the on the golden years of Hollywood relating to the horn. It's absolutely fantastic. It has John Williams and uh, Jim Thatcher, all the great horn players that have worked in Hollywood. And um, it's a really incredible film. If, if, you, if for no other reason you come to the IHS, come and see this film. It's <laughs> so fabulous. it is going to be screened. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll screen Maybe it you can definitely. screen it a few times so that everyone can, you know. Great. Well. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Actually, That's amazing. We'll actually screen part of it as part of the Hollywood evening on the Wednesday night. So the Wednesday night concert in downtown LA in the Los Angeles Theatre. It's this. It's going to be an incredible event, and part of part of that concert will involve Annie's film and other other related clips to to the Hollywood um, porn work. Okay. All right, you guys. We have to actually call it a day because we are. Um, yeah, it's getting actually quite late here as well. <laughs> You're just waking up, Tim. It's time for us to go to bed. Um, can I have a? Tony has just said. Um, oh, that's nice. She says, this is awesome. Hi, everyone. Such an exciting time for the horn world. She's looking forward to this year. Have you considered having um, to assure, assure all horn players are set up for retirement and help them lower college debt? Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about uh, how to lower college debt for horn players. Um, yeah, the German, we don't have that over here. But it, you're right, it is an exciting time for horn players with all this live streaming. And I think the horn community is really... A very special one. They really hang to get, stick together, and uh, yeah, it's it's a great feeling. Um, uh, yeah, Kevin McDonald says it's a great film, and he saw it at the Las Vegas Symposium in 2013. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Tell me, as just the closing thing, um, which is what is your personal? What do you think is going to be your personal highlight? Annie, that's a hard one for you to say, for you to say. Um, I'm just most excited about. Honestly, getting to see everyone that that comes here and um, yeah, and just getting to watch the whole thing come together. It's been this whole event for me is and and Andrew and the Colburn School has actually been a three-year event, um, three year in the making. You know, the process of the whole thing. So we're just excited to see it all come together, and we just would love for everyone to come share it with us. What's your favorite, Andrew? I would I would have the same sentiment. I'm 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 excited about the Hollywood Bowl concert, but then. That, that I'm also terrified, but, but that's, <laughs> <Tell me about. laughs> that's pretty normal. But um, I'm, yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing all the big concerts in different venues, and then and then getting the learning experience of listening to these amazing players give master classes and and conversations. I'm looking forward to your uh, interviews, Sarah. Yeah, throughout. we're going to do a couple of, couple of hangouts with Tim. Um, we've got Don Green lined up, the uh, the uh, psychology musician psychology expert, and we're going to do something about Hollywood horning. We'll, we'll see. We've we've still got some planning to do. Um, I think Tim, what are you going to be? Uh, what, what what after hearing all that, you would buy a ticket tomorrow if you weren't coming anyway. Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to meeting everybody. I mean, I've done a lot of these live streams and hangouts, and I've met all sorts of people online. So it'll be great to meet some people in person as well. That's true, actually. You've never met most of them. Even the ones we've done face-to-face -face here. I mean, you, you know, they all think they know you, though. You're a, you're a famous man in the, in the horn world. Don't you, don't you agree, you guys? Absolutely. <laughs> Infamous. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. um, Jeff, tell me. Oh, oh Dave. Oh, sorry, just one sec. Dave Weiner said my personal highlight will be meeting Tim. <laughs> oh, that's really nice, Dave. Right back Thank at you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, how about you? Well, I mean, I think it's what Tim's saying is that we've been streaming things and it's amazing to do this digital thing and create our community, but then we all get together and it's, it's amazing. And all of us have said the most exciting thing is meeting people and seeing things for the live experience. So it's a perfect storm. I remember the first one I saw. I just, I all of a sudden gave myself permission to be part of the international community of Horns. You know, I just joined, I'm like, oh. But just other people, and you get, and I, so I love watching people watch <laughs> the concerts and everything going on around it, and being able to try the 
confidence. Yeah, it's a perfect storm. We're right there for the whole week. So you run for the doors at the beginning, you can't wait, and you've kind of had enough horn at the end of the week, but it's just it's magic. Real magic. <laughs> magic. Will you do some magic when we're there? Sure. Yeah. Is Reese coming? Doing some new things. He's going to be nearby up in Santa Barbara because his mom is doing an opera with Seattle, so we're both kind of traveling. So, yeah, he'll be nearby. He'll, be, he'll make an appearance, I think, at some point. He for better. Sure. We have to live stream him. He's the most famous kid out there in our home world. <laughs> Do whatever you can to get there, you guys. Like, it's going to be amazing, as you can see. And more things are going to be revealed of what's coming. And Yeah, get there if you can. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 amen. Uh, he couldn't have said it better. Um, I, I totally agree. My, my highlights are going to be playing with Andrew and Stefan and, and, and Tim and everyone at the Hollywood Bowl and basically just hanging. I, I was so excited today because I was going to see Jeff and Annie and Andrew and Tim and just sort of have the feeling that we were all in the same room for an hour. And, uh, and to turn off, I don't even want to turn off my computer because, you know, but we'll see each other in LA and I hope we'll see all of you. Keep your, um, yeah, keep, keep writing, write into the Facebook page, take a photo. We're going to do a screenshot now anyway. So take a photo of you in front of the, in front of your screen. We're going to, every, we're going to, we're going to wave you guys. We're going to do a little one for this. Tim, can you do a good screenshot on this one? Everyone okay. do a And if anyone has, um, uh, if anyone could take a selfie of themselves with this, we want it posted on, on Facebook or ta hashtag us on the Horn Hangouts or something and we'll, we'll find it. We just like all these silly horn Horn uh, global events. So, okay, you guys, how about a uh, hello? I've got, got Tim on my screen. That's great. Okay, screenshot. Tim, you do. One, two, three. Smile. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I got it. I'm going to be posting that one. Great to see you all. You want to add anything? No, other than just come. And we look forward to seeing you. And uh, and when and when you're here, come and come and chat to everyone and, and really enjoy the event. Can't wait. Thank you, guys. Tim, I think that's it from us tonight. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you definitely live from L.A. We'll see you on, on the Horn Hangouts. Can I just let you guys know that um, next week we're doing a live hangout with Hawken Hardenberger. And I'm really excited about that uh, because he is really a legend and one of the most awesome people. Tim, what day is that? It's the 21st, isn't it? Yeah, next week. Yeah, next when week. When I wake up. So anyone watching who wants to join in on the next one, hang out. That's uh, next week with Hawken Hardenberger. But we will be live streaming from LA, all of us, and I just can't wait to be in the same room with you guys. <laughs> yeah, us too. Yeah. Okay, good night from Berlin. Good morning from Mel to Melbourne. Good afternoon to uh, Indiana and to LA. Thanks. <laughs> See you soon. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. See you in LA.